Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanted to create a blue smoky eye, so if you guys would like to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. So I've already done my face, minus my eyes, and my eyebrows. So I'm starting out with my Loric Eye Primer. I love this stuff, it's by far my favorite. And we're going to use NYX Galactic Eyeshadow, and this is a nice dark blue. And we're going to use, use a small eyeshadow brush. And to really get this pigmented, I'm going to pack it on versus swiping it across my lid. So now we're going to go in with the Loric Pro palette, and as you guys know, this is my all-time favorite palette. I love all the Loric eyeshadows in particular. And we're going to go in with the color Espresso. We're going to take a fluffy crease brush. As you guys may have known, I have done a couple different blue looks on this channel, but this one in particular is different because of how dark the blue is. A lot of my other blue tutorial looks that I've done, they have been much brighter and more kind of pow in your face. This one is just a really kind of nice smoky blue look. Alright, now we're going to go in with the black in the Loric Pro palette to really deepen up the crease. And I'm only going to start on my outer corner. I'm not going to go all the way in. I want to make sure that the darkest part of my crease is the outer corner. Now we're going to go back in with the blue and the same brush that I used before and we're just going to touch up some spots on my lid. Next we're going to go in with the color Slate. We're going in with an angled eyeliner brush and we're going to line my bottom lashes with this. Next we're taking a fluffy blending brush and we're going in with the color cream. I'm just going to blend this out a little bit to soften it. Now we're going to take another angled eyeliner brush and I'm going to go in with the color nude as an inner corner highlight. And then I'm going to also take Nude and put it on as a brow bone highlight. Next, we're going to take 
Cartiz Cosmetics Smoky Eye Pencil, and I'm going to use this to line my top lid. And I'm just going to smoke it out with this. Now for dramatic effect, I'm going to use these Ardell Wispies. I'm going to apply them and be right back. So while I'm waiting for my lashes to dry, I'm going to move on to my eyebrows. So I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder. It's in dark brown, and this is actually the duo. And I'm going to use an angled eyeliner brush, and I'm starting out with the dark powder. And then I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Brow Drama, and this one is in the color Deep Brown. And this is the Fiber Volumizer. It's a very interesting brush. I just got this so I'm just kind of testing it out now. Now that my lashes are dry, I'm going to want to apply my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara on my bottom lashes. I'm not going to apply any mascara on my top lashes because of the falsies. I want to be able to reuse them. Last but not least, I'm going to apply a little bit more highlight on the tops of my cheeks. I'm going to use the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in Might Be. And I just love this one. Last but not least, we're going to do my lips. My lips are pretty dry, so I'm going to first use a sugar scrub. So I'm going to use the Lush Mint Julep the lip on my lips. For lipstick, I just applied the Ult by Kate in color 109, and on top of it I put the Intensely Coral by Max Factor. So this is this one, and this is this one. So this is my completed video, and if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching.